All right, so we're going to talk about subscript notation. So subscripts have one purpose. They're to keep track of the position of the numbers in a list. So x sub 1 indicates the first number in a list. x sub 2 is the, refers to the second number in a list. x sub 10 refers to the tenth number in a list. And x sub n refers to the nth number in a list. So we're going to look at a list of numbers. And then we're going to answer some questions regarding the list. So for example 1, we are looking at the list of 5, 11, 14, 9, 3, 25, 16, 8, and 1. It's just a list of numbers. So we're going to talk about some subscripts with this. So first question is, which number is represented by x sub 1. So which number is represented by x sub 1? Well, 1 refers to the first number in the list, so this will be the first number, which is 5. So the number that is represented by x sub 1, the answer is 5. You can also write it as x sub 1 equals 5 to clarify what you're looking at. But the number that's represented by it, the actual answer is 5. But you could state x sub 1 equals 5. All right, let's look at another one. So which number, I'm going to do little hashtags there so that I don't, or quote mark, so I don't have to um, rewrite the whole question, by x sub 6. So what number is represented by x sub 6? Well, that 6 tells us it's the sixth number in the list. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my answer is 25, which I can also write as x sub 6 is equal to 25. All right, what symbol would be used to represent the number 9 in the list? So if I look at the list, and I'm looking for number 9, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So the symbol is going to be x of 4 because it is the fourth number in the list. You could also write the answer as x of 4 is equal to 9. Either way would work. All right, what number is represented by n in x sub n. Well, remember the n is the nth number, which is your last number in the list. So I'm looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers in the list. So that means my n is equal to 9 because I'm looking for the n. Now, if you're looking for the nth term, then x sub 9 would be equal to 1. But if they're asking just for the n, you're going to write n is equal to 9. Notice the difference. When they're asking for the n, n is equal to 9 versus looking for the x sub nth term. The x sub nth term, let me write that, the x sub nth term is going to be x sub 9 because it's the ninth term is equal to 1. So these are not the same, so make sure you pay attention to the question. If they're just looking for the n, count how many numbers are, and the n is equal to 9. Okay? All right, let's look at example 2. So for example 2, we have 76, 82, 68, 50, 61, 92, 91, 68, 70, 55 and 84. So here's our new list of numbers. So which number is represented by x of 4? Well, x of 4 tells me it's the fourth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So my answer is 50. You could also write x of 4 is equal 
250 to clarify that it is the number. All right, let's look at another one. Which number, again, I'm using my quote marks here to say I'm repeating this, by x sub 10. If we're looking at x sub 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, it's 55. So I could say that x sub 10 is equal to 55. All right, what symbol would be used to represent the number 61. So we have to find 61 on our list and then we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five. So the symbol would be x sub five. We could also write that x sub five is equal to 61 for clarification. But if they're looking for the symbol, this is your symbol. So I wanna clarify with you that that is the symbol representing that number of 61. All right, what number is represented by n in x sub n? So what number is represented by n? Remember, we're not looking for the last term, we're looking for how many terms there are. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So my n, is equal to 11. Now my x sub 11, like we talked about in the previous one, the n is that, but our last term was this. So you have to know the difference between it. So if we're looking again for the x sub n term, then our x sub 11 would be equal to 84. So make sure you're understanding the difference. If they're just asking for the n, it's how many numbers you have. If they're asking what x of n is, then that's your 84 there. All right, what symbol or what symbols represent 68, the number 68? Well, 68 occurs twice in our list. So first it's one, two, three, so x sub three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's also x sub eight. Those both represent the number of 68.